All right, today I am taking my first look at what is going on out there with Google VO3. What have people done with this new tool? This is unbelievable, guys. This is the best jacuzzi ever. <laughs> okay, so VO3 is the new video generation tool from Google. This is the first tool to seamlessly generate audio, background sounds, and music along with your video prompt. That's pretty impressive. I have not gotten a chance to play with the tool for myself, so I am very curious to see what people are doing with it. Jared Liu has put together this demonstration of multiple character voices and a lot of good background sounds and music. Let's see a little bit of what he has done. Google VO3 is amazing! So, where are we actually going? Wait, I thought you knew? I love the background sounds in that. You can totally hear the, the airplane engine going. Excellent. We've got a love to share. So those dancers were amazing. They were synchronized, there was music, and they looked like real people dancing. The body movements were pretty natural, the, the motions, the faces, the sounds. That's really impressive. However, VO3 doesn't exactly get everything right, right out of the gate. So what brings you to this event? I, I don't know, I'm simulated by Google. <laughs> So that little part where he kind of speaks under his breath just a little bit, I don't think that was intentional. I think that was a glitch. And so this subtitling, I have heard reports now that sometimes completely unprompted, the video that VO3 generates will just add subtitling, but incorrect subtitling. And no matter how many times you go and try to correct it or say, do not subtitle, do not add captioning, make sure captioning is spelled correctly. It just doesn't work. For some reason, this is one of those almost hallucination kind of experiences. So it's definitely something it's working on. Okay, so let's talk about the price structure for a minute. For a limited time, Google is offering their AI Pro model for free for one month. And for three months, you can get half price on their Ultra package. You can always get a free account you can go play, you do not get access to VO3 right now with that. But like I said, for right now, I don't know for how long, you can get a month long trial that includes a bunch of stuff, including VO3. There are limited generations. I don't know what it is on a daily basis. It's not a ton. You also get to use Flow, which as far as I can tell, is kind of the editor for VO3. If you do want to do the super upgrade, you get uh, quite a few more credits for VO3. This is their $250 a month package. You can get it, like I said, for three months for a half price. So if that's something you're interested in, in just testing out, probably worth it. I will be trying the one month free very shortly. Something of note though, free for students. Google right now is offering their AI Pro package free for students. College students get a free upgrade of Gemini through finals of 2026. If you're a student in college and you sign up by June 30th of this year, 2025, you get basically an entire year free of Google Pro. If you're at all interested in AI, I would just go sign up because you can for free. Google Gemini is adding features left and right. So in the next year, I can't even imagine what they're going to be releasing. So I would say it's definitely worth it. If you're in college and you can get this for a year for free, why wouldn't you? All right, so the next thing I came across was this really cute narrative by Coffee and Reviews. They have uh, built a small little universe and because VO3 only generates eight second clips, they've done a great job putting together a little storyline. You will see a couple of other problems that VO3 has. Bro, whale fest. Me and the crew come every year. Sun, floats, grilled corn. It's like Coachella, but with whales. <laughs> you know what time of year it is, folks? <laughs> uh, now let's go to Jason to tell us what to expect for weather for this year's big event. <laughs> this year, we are going to have the most perfect summer weather. 
So something it looks like VO3 is still having a little bit of trouble with is text generation. You can see back here, they're in Des Moines, Iowa, but they didn't quite nail it back here. For the biggest fest in the Midwest. So obviously there was a prompt here to display the little network text on the bottom of the screen. That just did not work. Clearly not what the creator of this intended. Probably the best they could get VO3 to generate. But it's Des Moines, not D.E. Moines. Same thing here on the tattoo. Not quite right. <laughs> Whoa, chill, dude. I'm just here for Whale Fest. <laughs> I came all the way from Australia to see the famous Iowa whales. Woo! Excellent. I am so excited for Whale Fest this year. Me too. I heard there are so many cute guys there. <laughs> All right, so that was pretty excellent. Text seems to be a real problem still for VO3, not a surprise. Um, OpenAI was really the first company that nailed the generation of text inside of images. Supposedly the new Gemini image generation, Imagine 4, has done a much better job of generating text inside of images. Looks like that hasn't quite carried over to VO3. It is also worth noting, as much as people have said VO3 is kind of this amazing tool, and if you look, most of those scenes were kind of lifelike. You wouldn't necessarily be able to tell that some of those were even AI generated. They looked completely like human actors, dog actors. They looked like the real thing. But not every video generates perfectly the first time, and it is expensive to do this. You saw with the free plan, there's limited video generation. So if you got the free plan, which I do intend to do, and we're just kind of playing with it, it's not like you could just regenerate that scene that you're looking for over and over and over to try to fix those text mistakes. It is expensive. Even if you have the upgraded plan, I don't imagine you get unlimited generations. I think you, at a certain point, would say, I'm good where I am. I don't want to spend unlimited money on my vision. So even though it, it's not perfect, there is a lot of room for creativity. And I just, I loved the framing device that AI Video School used for this video that we're about to watch. It's a robot channel surfing. So we just get to see a bunch of mini clips of what VO3 can do. Tonight's big story is about how VO3 can generate video with dialogue just from text prompts. Let's do an experiment and pretend we're channel surfing through random television stations. This will give us some variety to see what's possible with VO3. Sunday night on the savannah. The lion feels sad knowing it has to work on Monday morning. I love you so much, Veo. You are the inspiration I've always dreamed about. Everything is different now. There's no going back. We're in a new world. It's gonna be okay, my friend. Once we're done mixing, we reach in and it's done. No baking necessary. All right, so I love the temple shrine that pops up behind the monk. I just think that's really well done. And uh, the cake, the baking show where the cake comes kind of fully formed out of the bowl, you can see that's not quite perfect. But still really fun and really well done. You definitely saw quite a few instances there of that sort of closed captioning or the, you know, the subtitling that was just garbled characters. That is not YouTube doing that. That is, by all accounts, VO3. And sometimes it is seemingly, apparently, impossible to get rid of. So that said, as problematic as some of these clips still are, this is amazing to see this level of audio generation and the fact that they're synchronizing the audio and the music and the background noises and the video that's really astounding and we don't have any other tools that are doing anything like that yet so really well done there i do see now what all the buzz is about 
I know too, there are a lot of people kind of worried that this is displacing a lot of the creators and a lot of uh, creativity from humans. But I think there is room for this. The amount of work that goes into creating some of these prompts is significant. So there is still a human behind these prompts, thinking up the ideas, telling the tool what exactly they have in mind, trying to get their vision out of their head into reality. And this opens up a creative avenue to so many people that would literally never have access to anything like this, anything like the ability to create or film or hire people to produce what's in their head and have that come to life. So I think we can't discount what the, the freedom that this is allowing people and the amount of people who would not have had access to this otherwise. I do think there is still a place for both. And I think it's exciting that people can play around with something like this and create something that never would have been possible for them previously. Because I stumbled across this, you may have seen it already. Just look what can be done if you have a creative vision in mind and a clear idea in your head and the patience and the creativity and somewhat the finances to see your vision through all the way to the end. We have definitely seen a couple of, of videos where people had a concept and they did a couple of scenes and strung them together. But take a look at this. This post on X from PJ Ace, I used to shoot $500,000 pharmaceutical commercials. I made this video for $500 in VO3 credits in less than a day. I don't think we can overstate how kind of amazing that is. I tried everything for my depression. Nothing worked. Every day felt heavy. I felt trapped. Then I tried Puppermin. Our prescription helps your body secrete a special pheromone that attracts puppies. I took the pill before bed, and when I woke up, there he was, the love of my life. <laughs> the pill does not target depression directly, but we've found that it's really difficult to be depressed when cute dogs show up at your doorstep. Okay, I'm not going to play the whole thing, uh, but it is well worth going to watch, going and finding this account, PJ Ace on X. He's done, it looks like, quite a few videos using VO3. Um, this is a professional who knows what he's doing and just shows there is still a ton of room for the real professionals. As much as these tools are opening up the ability of regular people to make videos, it just shows what you can do if you know what you're doing. That that level of experience and creativity is always going to produce a much higher quality piece of content. So I don't think it's fair to say we're taking the humans out of the equation. It's just very clear watching this. Humans are definitely still in the equation. All right, so I am going to sign up for the free month. I'm gonna give VO3 a try in the next few days and I am hoping to report back to you how hard or how easy it is to bring something out of my head onto the screen. I do not have any experience with uh, video creation, video editing, movie making, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what I'm doing. So this is, I think, going to be a good test to see what a newbie can do with VO3. So keep an eye out for that. If you're interested in making sure you don't miss that when that comes out, hit that subscribe. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button. I think that's it for now. See you next time.